Welcome to the Harkening Deer Podcast. I feel I can say with little pushback, controversy, or debate that one of the commandments Jesus gives more often than any other is simply this, fear not. It seems one of the main objectives of his ministry, one of the things he devoted his very life to, is lessening anxiety, worry, stress, and fear in and amongst those around him, and to spread that message of peace to the ends of the earth. This is our meditation today. Today I will be reading and referencing a number of different passages on this theme. If you would like to know where in the Bible these passages are found and which versions I am reading from, please see the show notes. Let us begin with our facilitation of accommodating recommendations for meditation, otherwise known as our farms. Farm 1. No judgment of self or others. Farm 2. Be still. Be calm. Relax. Get comfortable. And if it is helpful, close your eyes. Farm 3. Embrace a heart and mindset of peace and loving kindness. Fear not. Do not worry. Let all anxiety melt away. Let us take all of our stress and lay it down at the feet of Jesus. I'd like to read just a few of the many examples of when Jesus tells us not to be troubled or afraid. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not plant seeds. They do not gather a harvest and put it in barns. And look at how the wildflowers grow. They do not work or make clothes for themselves. It is God who clothes the wild grass. Grass that is here today and gone tomorrow. So do not start worrying, where will my food come from, or my drink, or my clothes? Can any one of you add a single day or hour to your life by worrying about it? So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Do not be afraid of people. The worst they can do is kill you. But there is nothing they can do to your soul, to your core being. Save your respect for God, who holds your entire life, body and soul, in his hands. And God cares what happens to it even more than you do. When 
I'm trying to do here is get you to relax. Do not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. Do not be afraid of missing out. You are my dearest friends. You are my dearest friends. The Father wants to give you the very kingdom itself. And in times of great fear, like when the disciples are in their ship and see what they believe is a ghost on the water, or when there is a storm so great they worry the ship will sink, Jesus is there to still their fears. Don't be afraid, he says. Take courage. I am here. Be still. Do not worry. Just have faith. Perhaps one of the reasons this message is so important in the ministry of Jesus is that he was born into it. When the angel Gabriel was sent to Mary, the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. Echoing the words written so long ago by Isaiah, Fear not for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold you up. And on the night Jesus is born, an angel has a similar message to a group of shepherds while declaring the Messiah's birth. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. And as Jesus is about to leave this world, he says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give, so do not be troubled or afraid. So his life is bookended, and beginning and end with the message of not fearing, of not worrying, of having peace. And even after his earthly body is gone, the words of Jesus continue to resound. Give up all your worries and cares and anxiety to God, for God cares for you. God is love. There is no fear in love. Perfect love drives out fear.
Give up all your worries and cares and anxiety to God. For God cares for you.